Cowboy Dipper here, and he's going to do a review on the new Grizzly Dark Select. Uh, you get a buy one, get one free when you go to the store. And it costed me, I think, $4 after tax with the two cans. And... This is what it comes in, just like this. It comes in something like that, and just like that. Here's what the can looks like. Um, it's a maroon red. Uh, here's what the sides look like. Uh, let's do smell. There's definitely... It's not as strong as the other Grizzly Straight. Actually, as a matter of fact, it doesn't even smell like Grizzly Straight. Uh, it smells like a smoky flavor to me because I can't mm, come out with the smell. That's the only thing that it smells like to me. Uh, it does have a small hint of a straight smell, but more like a smoky smell. Uh, pinchability, um, we're going to get us a little lip of it, but pinchability, it pinches really great, um, it's a mid cut, just like any other long cuts, most of them are a mid cut, so let's put this in. Packability, it packs really well. It stays in the lip really well. Um, spitter of the day is the is the purple bandana my jug. But anyways, it packs in the lip really well. It stays together really well. Um, one thing that it really they really need to fix with this dip, it the flavor dies dies out really quick it doesn't it doesn't keep its flavor very long as it should it does stay moist and everything pretty long but the taste the taste of it just dies out really quick um so packing in the mouth i'm gonna give it like a seven because it really does pack really well and it stays in the lip really well and that no and the taste of it it tastes like it really doesn't have a straight flavor taste as much it has that camel the camel straight taste um i think if they make one because i do remember having some sort of camel that tasted like this <clears throat> but i think i think that's who Grizzly bought out and uh, did their own deal with the with the recipe or whatever they do to make the uh, dipping tobacco and stuff. But anyways, the can for presentation, I give it a seven out of ten for the look, and I give it pinchability gets a seven, flavor gets a seven. Um, would I dip the would I dip this flavor again? Yeah, I would dip this again. Um and I might just start doing that. And just to let you guys know it does taste a little better after it's been in the freezer. So So is this gonna be my everyday? Um maybe for right now. It might be. Because it does taste really good. I just wish it the flavor would last just a little bit longer. I really do. Because it doesn't last. The flavor part doesn't last really long. But it does stay moist and everything else is good on it. So overall I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. Um, so if anybody... So if anybody wants to go try it, um, and you're a straight person, I would recommend it. 
Um, it may not be up there with the other straights, but in my opinion, it's my favorite straight right now. Uh, because all the other straights are just a little too overpowering, this one's just about there. It just needs to last longer in the taste. That's it. So hit the subscribe button and the bell.